Welcome to the assignment desk, or what I'd like to call the hub of the newsroom. It's a behind the scenes role that is key for the success of any news station across the country. When you see a newscast, just know that whoever was on the assignment desk that day helped make it happen. Now, no matter what your shift is, you are that main point of contact when it comes to getting those stories on the air. You will work with your managers, and you will also work with your photographers and your reporters to make sure their stories are ready to go. Like the role says, you are also in charge of making sure that assignments are scheduled, not only throughout the rest of the day, but throughout the rest of the work week. And, of course, when it comes to the information that comes in, you are that main person that makes sure it gets to where it needs to go in the newsroom. Now, in life, we know that communication's key, and it's no different in the newsroom, especially during live shots and breaking news situations. The first thing you'll want to do on the assignment desk is to make sure you stay in contact with your team that's out in the field. Make sure they have the right address, the right gear, and honestly, just the nuts and bolts for the story they're fixing to go to. Timing is also critical. Whether it's a press conference or your breaking news live shot, you'll want to make sure your team is ready. So it's important to always stay in contact. Make sure your crew can get their shot up early to troubleshoot any problems they may have. At, here at WCNC, our crews use TVUs and DeGeros for any of their live shots. So on the assignment desk, you can help monitor those issues, whether it's adjusting delays through TVU or just making sure that shot is available and can be punched up through the director's booth. And again, communication key. As you work with your team, make sure your producers, your directors, your digital team, and everyone else in the newsroom has a good gauge of what's going on. Now, I may sound like a broken record, but again, communication is the buzzword of this video. WCNC uses Teams for real-time communication throughout the newsroom, and it's also a way for us to store important documents. But now, when it comes to tracking stories and calendar events, the assignment desk uses EMPS. Now, EMPS is a system that producers use to produce shows. EMPS is also a way for the assignment desk to monitor stories and to follow up on certain things that need to be happening throughout the week. The archival process for EMPS lets you go back years so you can stay up to date with stories that have happened in the past. So whether it's a shooting from 2019, a massive court case from 2018, or if it's just a good old feature story from 2016, You'll have everything you need right in front of you at your desk. Now, when it comes to gathering content and just keeping an ear out for breaking news, most of the time you'll actually get it straight from the source. The police department will get back with you, whether it's a phone call or an email, and they'll give you the 411. But nowadays, you got to be a little bit more proactive. So that's where social media and honestly the viewer phone calls come into play. The station will be tagged on certain things when it comes to social media. But honestly, I have six different routes that I would recommend when you're trying to gather content. That's either monitoring emails, taking your viewer calls, of course, listening to the scanners, checking out social media, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, keeping an eye on national news, and also be sure to visit the news partners and make sure what they have on their website can be something of value for your viewers in your neck of the woods. Now, something that might get lost in the shuffle when it comes to the assignment desk is sharing content with other stations. So WCNC is owned by Tegna, which means that anything that WCNC shoots can be shared with any Tegna affiliate throughout the company. Another thing to remember, too, is that WCNC is a national affiliate with NBC. That means anything that NBC uses, whether it's a video or just a package, you are able to use that with WCNC. Now, it is also important to remember that if you use any type of video from a national affiliate, you cannot share that within your company without the proper guidelines from that national affiliate. So that means if we use NBC video, we cannot share that with a station that is a non-NBC station within Tegna. There's a lot of restrictions when it comes to that. So if you ever use anything from a national affiliate, just make sure you're reading all the guidelines before you share that video. So we just talked about managing requests from stations. But what about the requests in-house? A lot of the times at the assignment desk, you will be relied on to pick up different things for different stories. So that means you will be the person that will try to get a, a court document for a story and also file camera requests to attend any type of court hearings. 
Also, it's important to know how to use the FOIA system and making sure that you're able to obtain police reports from different agencies and to also move forward with any content requests from any producers. And then circling back to an earlier slide, you need to make sure that you're authenticating any calls and emails that come in because sometimes it might be a good story, but it might be too good to be true. So always be that second line of defense when it comes to authenticity for your station. Now, what steps can you take to be an assignment desk editor? I guess the first thing that I could really say is to keep your eyes on the prize when it comes to school and to always make sure that you're on top of things. So another part of that too comes back to being aware of news at the national, regional, and local level. Having that sense of news will help you develop a good strong news judgment that is very critical when you're working on the assignment desk. Plus, maintain an organized mentality. You can use that for whether it's your job or just in life in general. And I guess another thing too is that don't be afraid to reach out to any news stations for opportunities. You're going to see that news directors and general managers are going to be willing to work with you if you show that interest. Having that passion can open up the doors for internships and even the ability to shadow newsrooms. And the last thing that I can recommend is to never be afraid to ask questions. That's something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis as a journalist. So no matter if it's in class or if you're just at home and you want to send off that email, never be afraid to reach out and to see what you can do to get your foot in the door to become a journalist. And again, my name is Curtis Carden. Thank you so much for taking this pathway down on what it takes to be an assignment desk editor.